Okay, so let's create the flow chart for a weekly pay. Um, so our problem statement, create a program to calculate the pay amount for an employee given the number of hours worked uh, and their hourly wage. Uh, so that's going to be our two inputs is hours work, hourly wage, and we're going to output uh, the total pay. And so if we were doing an IPO chart, that would be uh, hours work, hourly wage as inputs. We're going to calculate uh, the total pay, which would be just the hours work times the hourly wage. And then we're going to output uh, total pay. Uh, we're going to use a software called Flowgrhythm uh, to create this. So we get the, the main ellipsis, uh, or the start uh, and the end. Uh, we'll click on the arrow here, and we'll declare the variable. Uh, so in Flowgrhythm, you do have to declare variables. Uh, so we'll put in hours worked. And the reason I'm switching to camel case here instead of the underscore uh, is Flowgrhythm does not allow um, underscore characters for our variable names. So this is an executable flowchart. So they're actually doing some um, coding under, underneath the flowchart, uh, which is not necessarily uh, typical, but handy. So we'll, we'll do the first variable. Uh, we'll do the next variable. And we'll call that hourly wage. Okay, and then we'll do our inputs. So the input uh, symbol here, and we'll put in hours worked. And then we'll input uh, the hourly wage. Okay, there. Then we'll do the calculation. Uh, we probably need to declare our other variable, so I'll go right up here to the top again and declare our variable total pay. And actually, I'll go back to hourly wage and we'll change that from an integer uh, to a real number. And also for total pay. Uh, that would be uh, a floating point or real real number. So let's do our calculation here. So we'll do an assignment statement and we'll set total pay equal to hourly wage times hours worked and then the last step we would need to output the total pay. So we'll click OK there. OK, so we'll run this and we get how many hours worked. So we'll put in 40 and hourly wage, let's put in 7. 25, um, and we get uh, our answer here. Uh, we, we could have uh, made this a little bit uh, better output uh, by saying uh, the total pay is space, and then we can use the ampersand to concatenate that in uh, to total pay. Um, so we'll run that again. Uh, we'll put in the same numbers, 40, 725 and then our output um, will actually spell out a little bit better. The total pay is uh, 290. We can, uh, as in some languages, put uh, output statements before each input. Um, so we could actually put in uh, a prompt. Uh, Make sure we put quotes uh, on that. Oop. And then we'll also have them enter the hourly wage.
And so that'll look just slightly different where it actually prompts over here instead of just reading the bottom. Uh, so putting in 40, uh, enter the hourly wage, and we enter that uh, and get the total pay uh, out that way. Okay, so that's a simple flow chart uh, for our weekly uh, wages. And we'll just save this. I'll go up to file, save as, and we'll call it uh, weekly wages.